Hey guys, uh, just want to show you something. We just came back from about a five hour round trip to Sandusky uh, to pick up what's supposed to be quite a lot of dubias. Now, when the guy first contacted us, there were supposed to be, I want to say between five and six totes of roaches, each with between 20 and 30,000 dubias. Uh, however, he did combine them all into two totes for easier transport. And we worked a price on it last night based on pictures. Uh, as for what he's saying, there's about $5,000 worth of roaches in there. And we agreed on $800. However, when I got to peeking through there, I'm pretty confident we're going to get our $800 back. But I do not believe it's going to be really worth it. But I want to show you what we got and um, just kind of go through, sort them. We're going to use the roaches we bought today and set up some new colonies and see, what, see if it's worth it. So I'm going to take you through this process with me. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, like I mentioned, uh, I bought these two bins, drove... Uh, Drove all the way out to Sandusky to pick these up. Now, I'm gonna give you a little diagram of what I actually paid for them. So I gave the guy $800 for both of these colonies. Uh, but you gotta figure in gas. It was four hours drive time, plus about 45 minutes there talking to him. Plus, of course, food and snacks on the way. Uh, plus the time it's gonna take me to unpack all these. Now. Just looking at the pictures he sent me before we went and picked them up when we discussed the price last night, I think I was getting a good deal. Now this guy said if I were to sell them all same day, he's thinking about $5,000 worth of roaches. It did look like that from the pictures he sent. However, when I went to pick them up, it's looking a little light. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, this might not be a very good, uh, might not be a very good deal on my part, but. I'm gonna take you through this with me and we'll uh, figure it out together. What do you say? Let's go. This is actually the smaller of the two bins I'm gonna handle first. Although I should have it on, I'm not gonna wear a mask because you probably would not hear me talk as I do this. But I am gonna wear gloves just to be on the safe side. By the way, if you see that uh, I'm looking a little raggedy, it is about 86 degrees. I see. Yeah, 86 degrees in here right now. It is definitely, definitely very hot. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get through both of these tonight, but I'm gonna try. I, uh, you know, we had a show on Sunday. And when I get ready for a show, I'll tell you what, it's like running a marathon for uh, three days, at least three days total, because it takes me two days, two full days to get ready and prepare for a show. And then uh, the show day itself, I get up at 3.30 in the morning just to be able to pack the car and drive to the show and set up the tables and set up the other vendors and all that stuff. Um, tell you what, it's like running a marathon. And when I came back Sunday, man, it's like I came back just to start another marathon. <laughs> uh, on one day, I had to clean rodent cages, which is where that last video was. I was on Monday. And now Tuesday, I, uh, we woke up to a bunch of ball python eggs, and my son had to get taken to the doctor this morning. He has something on his leg. It could be a spider bite. It could be some kind of skin infection. Not really sure, but he had to get put on some antibiotics. And then uh, I had to come back and, and ship roaches, which I usually like to have to the post office early in the day, but it just wasn't possible today. So then tomorrow I might even have to make another uh, three hour round trip somewhere else. So we'll see. It's been a busy, busy, busy week, I'll tell you that. It has not been easy, but uh, I'm not complaining. I, I enjoy this. It could be a bit overwhelming for sure, but I enjoy it. 
100 percent now i got the most of them out of here i'm gonna leave this one egg carton inside just to get the few stragglers there's not many left Try and give you a better idea of what's inside that small colony. There's really not that many adults, but there's a lot of jumbos, which is a very good thing. The jumbos is where the money is going to be. But realistically, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be selling any of these. I'm gonna keep them all back for uh, building new colonies. got them in here again as you can tell there's really not that many uh, thankfully this is the small colony but we'll see what we could do I'd say at least uh, I'd say at least 300 jumbos and about three or four dozen adults all right I'm gonna set these over here I'll take this out of here and we will uh, get the big colony empty paper to give it a count. I got my new tote set up. Now my goal is always to put 1,200 larges or 1,200 extra larges uh, to start a new colony. But first I want to count the adult females and the adult males because that's going to be a different price than the uh, larges and jumbos. So I'm actually going to grab a tall deli cup to hold them. Zero it out, and then we'll give these a count. We'll probably speed this up a little bit. All right, so far, out of those, out of those few dozen uh, adults I told you about, we ended up pulling out 312 females and 34 males. So, like I say, you know, it's very easy to underestimate what you really have. So, because I already have 346 in there total, we're only going to add about 900 more to make this a full colony. So now we will start with these jumbos. And we'll start counting to see how many we can, uh, how many we have. But we're gonna put the first 900 in with them. So now we have 1,249 total roaches by average. In this tote, now we gotta go get another tote ready so that we have enough uh, space to put them all. There's one more male. All right, so the way we're gonna do this one going to be slightly different from the way we counted the last one. We needed to add uh, 900 jumbos to the last colony to make the full 1200 and I knew I had enough to do it. However, this one, I'm not really sure how many is in here, but I'm almost certain there is not 1200. So I'm going to do a different math thing. Last time I counted up 50 
And whatever the scale said, I multiplied by 18, which would give me 900. This time, I'm going to count approximately the same 50, but I'm going to divide it by the number on the scale. And then I'm going to fill this cup, and on a different calculator, I'm going to put that, whatever the scale says, I'm going to add up the entire bulk to see what we got. Hopefully that made sense. Now we have 970 large in that bin so far. Now I'm going to set this up with uh, larges, medium larges, and uh, mediums so that we can separate the rest of these roaches by size. And starting with the biggest first, we will. Uh, Put them where they need to go. Probably going to regret doing this without a mask on, by the way. So, our number is 1200. That's what we want in here. We currently have 970. So, we only need an additional 230. And I believe we can get that right out of the larges. What would that be? divided by 50 so I'll do 4.6 times whatever's on the scale and I'm going to hand count 50 173 grams. Now, because I'm not giving them time to fully sort, there might be some smaller ones in there, but I'm not going to be too picky. I normally would not put this much time into counting and, you know, building a colony. I usually will do it a lot quicker, but because I would like to see whether or not this deal was worth it for me, Plus, I'd like to show you the same. I'm going to do it a little slower, a little more tedious, just so we can see together whether or not I'm a good decision maker. <laughs> well, before I, before I get into this, I do want to say that ultimately, I'm not really that happy with the deal, but I'm not going to lose money on it. So that's the main thing. But here we go. 318 females, 34 males, 1,870 extra larges, 741 larges. Before I go on, everything smaller than that will go into our own stuff that, that we sell uh, on a daily basis. Everything I just mentioned, we were able to build two new, excuse me, two new colonies, each with about 1,200 uh, larges or adults or extra larges. Um, but we got 155 medium larges, 
237 mediums, 281 small mediums, 130 smalls, and 173 extra smalls. If we sold every bit of that today, I say as bulk pricing, so if I was selling them in, in like 200 at a time, we would sell everything for about $1,156. So if you take away the $800 we paid for the colonies, and I put about $95 for gas and food, um, you know, that's maybe a $250 profit if we sold everything today. But again, we're not gonna sell everything, we're not gonna sell nothing today because we're closed. But um, about $100 of this roaches, we could sell immediately tomorrow. Uh, they're in with our smalls, mediums, and larges. The rest of them went into two new colonies. Now, once the rest of those extra larges and larges become adults and start producing, you're looking at about two to three months from right now, we'll start pulling babies from them colonies. And they will keep producing and we'll keep making money on them for at least a year to come, uh, up to two years, depending on how long they breed and depending on a lot of different things. So was it truly worth it? Yes. Uh, if I knew exactly what was in here, would I try to haggle for a better price? Most definitely. But when it all breaks down, it, it definitely was worth what we paid for it. Um, and there you have it. Just want to share that with you.